How are you guys? So, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a advocate of the Second Amendment, as well as a business owner, uh, father of two, uh, soon to be husband, um, and I am just like every other normal civilian out there who sees what's going on in this country and will not stand for it. Um, now, don't get me wrong, not doing some kind of malicious speech and getting everybody together, rah, 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 no. Um, basically, I started this, um, this YouTube channel uh, for those of this populace of the American populace, uh, who believe in the Second Amendment. I started this um, pretty much to let people know it's okay to want to defend yourselves. It's okay to want to defend others. It's okay to love God and to love your countrymen, uh, even if you don't love the country you are in anymore because it no longer stands for the things that it used to. Um, the Second Amendment was not written for military and, per, and, and police personnel. It was written for the average everyday man who would eventually have to stand up against a tyrannical government if that government became said tyrannical or ran in uh, an unconstitutional manner, which we are seeing today, right? So a lot of people think, oh, you know, you like to do cool guy stuff. You like to dress up and play cosplay or something like that, which, you know, fine, whatever. Say what you want, my man. But I practice for the defense of my children. I practice for the defense of my fellow American and fellow personnel uh, in, you know, uh, say my job or a person who's um, just standing next to me, don't even know the guy or the girl, but if there's an active shooter, I'm going to defend their lives. It's not just some cool guy stuff. This is something we should all be doing because we should have, as men, a, if you will, noble understanding that we are protectors. Um, are we being, quote unquote, toxic masculinity, whatever, some stupid term they want to put? Sure, whatever. We're being normal men who, if you're going to classify me as toxic for wanting to protect people, so be it. I'll be that. Um, but this, this YouTube channel will now be made for... Those of us who are simply just average everyday Americans who want to live freely, who want to do right by others, who believe in Jesus Christ, who know what's coming, who have been telling people for years what to prepare for and they haven't, and continue to do so. Um, something like Bear Nation, things like that, of that nature. Uh, boots on the ground, things like that, of that nature. Um, these are you know, iconic even, uh, these are podcasts or channels that are trying to show you the light at the end of the tunnel, if you will. Um, I don't, uh, technically Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. And that is your light at the end of the tunnel. But, um, in the flesh, there are going to be things that we must prepare for, whether we like it or not. It's, it's sadly, this is what it's coming to. So. I'm starting this channel for that that very reason. Um, I'll be uploading things maybe even weekly. I shoot quite often. I train with military. I train with uh, police. Um, I train with uh, private sector um, security even. Um, I train with regular people. Um, I'm not an RSO. Uh, I just know general... Um, general basics of teaching, which is, you know, keep your finger off the trigger, please. Don't point it in the right, the safe, the only point it in a safe direction. 
and don't point it at anything you don't want to mitigate. Um, it goes a lot more in depth, my training, but again, I am not an RSO, so I wouldn't be teaching people. I would simply be shooting with people um, who are already competent because to be honest with you, I don't feel like teaching people. People should already know this stuff. This is stuff that used to be taught at a young, young age. Um, now, you know, having a gun, this is supposedly a bad thing when, I mean, I carry guns on me daily. I'm in my place of business and I have a weapon on me at all times. Um, in my vehicle, I have the, a permit to carry. So I am able to drive with a, a weapon in my vehicle. Um, what people don't realize is this is this is something that they should be doing on an everyday day-to-day -day basis, practicing and getting with others in order to practice as well. A lot of people will hate you for it until the time comes where you save their life and then they will love you for it. But that kind of hypocritical bullshit, we don't need to worry about. That's not us. That's that's common sense for us, right? For them, it's political. And what most people don't realize is politically driven agendas, like, you know, the jabs and all that other stuff. Um, this stuff, it's just a game to them. But for us, this is life. And the reason why it's life is because when a firearm goes off, you have consequences. And if these consequences deem it that your life is no longer in your hands and, you know, the whole saying, I'd rather be judged by six than carried by 12, judged by 12 than carried by six, whatever. I mean, okay, tough guy. To be honest with you, that is kind of true, though, because I, I have children and I'd like to make sure that they are going to see that their father, no matter where he is, is doing the right thing by them and his community. But anyway, so I just wanted to let you guys know what the premise was for this channel and let you know why I even started this channel because I'm going to be doing a lot of shooting and a lot of uh, educational stuff. Excuse me, I have a client real quick. What's going on, brother? I'll be right with you. Um, and so when I upload videos and stuff like that, you'll be seeing... Uh, me shooting um, usually at my range, which is an outdoor range. Uh, there's times where I'll be throwing cones down and using um, using certain tactics, like um, you know maybe going through a fatal funnel or um, maybe driving my weapon in a uh, in a scenario based situation, um, doing long distance shots, uh, counting certain. Um, times and and shot placements stuff like that like you know things that are quote unquote um military only kind of things when in fact that's not the case like i said you know the second amendment was made for we the people for us it wasn't made for um government or law enforcement it was made for just average everyday normal citizens so i hope you guys get out there and do your due diligence and Practice, train, um, do what's right by your family, do what's right by you, and especially of all, do what's right by God, because things are going to get rough, things are not going to get easier, and the more people stay complacent, the more their agendas will continue to pass and get harder and harder, and you'll eventually have to make a choice. Do you stand with them or do you stand with God? Do you stand with them or do you stand with your fellow man? So, you know, I choose to stand with God and my people, not a tyrannical government, which I'm sure I'll be flagged for this. I don't really care. I'm, I'm already, I'm sure, on a list just because I believe in God. I believe in uh, freedom of speech and I, I believe in the Second Amendment. So those right there, I think they, I think we are now uh, terrorists for that. So <laughs> whatever. Clearly, the FBI is tyrannical as well as uh, anything else. Um, you know, the ATF. Thank you, the ATF literally just sent me two of my suppressors. So I, I can't even be mad at them like that, man. But uh, I do do believe that they should not have as much power as they do. Um, 
Uh, but do I believe that certain things need proper channels? I do. But suppressors, really, guys, come on. Uh, stocks and, you know, braces, come on, guys. But anyway, I'm sure I'll be flagged sometime or other, so I might as well do it today. Um, but other than that, listen, guys, you're going to see just normal content. You might even see my family here and there every once in a while. You might see um, me... You, you will see me shooting. You might see some stuff in my shop. I do a lot of dry fire practice. Um, like I said, I'm just a regular guy. And I pray that you guys um, get inspired by this and start doing the same thing. Because we should all be getting together, helping each other out, and eventually start growing food and water, uh, having water um, uh, supplies, um, ammo, and uh, medical equipment. Um, I get really good medical equipment from um, Bear Independent. Um, I get, uh, what is it? I forget, you know, right now I'm having a brain fart, sadly. But um, Refuge Medical. RefugeMedical.com. I've gotten a couple care wound care buckets and stuff. So I would suggest you guys doing that because there's nobody going to be able to take care of us but us when the time comes. Anyway, I got a client, so I got to run. Uh, love you guys. Be safe. Peace. Appreciate you guys watching.